Good day. I am Johannes Cruz, and I am presenting on behalf of our team from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. In this presentation, we revisit the Kapampangan Perfective Affix. We will be providing a brief overview of the existing literature on the perfective affix in Kapampangan. Afterwards, we will be presenting our reanalysis of the perfective affix E instead of several replacive allomorphs. The perfective affix in Kapampangan has several allomorphs. As you can see in example one, linawin na kung marok mata, or she glared at me. The stem lawe bears the infix in, and so denotes a completed action or event. In two, pispaske kanyan, or I struck plants, the verb paspas bears the perfective infix e. As we show later, unlike in, e triggers several morphophonemic processes leading to its various forms. As mentioned previously, the perfective aspect has several allomorphs. The perfective infix in is one of those allomorphs, which is affixed between the first consonant and the first vowel of the stem. Presented in these examples is the stem gaga infixed with in after the first consonant g and before the first vowel a, forming the perfective verbal dinaga. The same process occurs in the perfective verbal tinud in number four. Bergaño and Del Corro pointed out that other allomorphs are simply replacive affixes that replace the first vowel of a stem. In the examples presented, show pengan daring anaking ulam or the children ate the dishes, where the verbal pengan denotes the completed act or event. This comes from the word pangan, where the replacive affix e clearly replaced a from pangan. As one observes, in inflecting stems whose first vowel is a, it is commonly replaced by the perfective replacive e or e, where in this example, a was replaced by e, which is consonant form. Meanwhile, the perfective replaces e or e is used when inflecting stems whose first vowel is u wherein the length and form is commonly used in open syllables and the other in closed syllables. Other examples presented by Del Corro are kutangan, to kitang, which means asked, and kulisan, to gilisan, meaning drew a line. In the example presented, di lukne in nasi, or he burnt the rice. The verbal diluk came from the stem duluk, where the first vowel is u was clearly replaced by e, which is the lengthened form to compensate for the open syllable. On the other hand, when inflecting stems into the perfective form that have e as their first vowel, E is simply lengthened. In the example presented, misakabiyang anak, or the child fell down, the verbal misakab was uh, with the lengthened first vowel E denotes a completed action or event. This came from the stem misakab. To sum up, kapampangan perfective have forms 
per del coro and vergaño. The infix in, the replacives e, 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 and length for e. Now, we argue that the, per, uh, the forms presented in examples five, Pengan, in six, Meg College, seven, Diluc, and eight misakab can be explained by the simple infixation of e which then prompts diphthong reduction as opposed to replacement of several allomorphs as suggested by bergaño and del corro to illustrate let us provide some examples on diphthong reduction diphthong reduction according to Heinz, also known as monophthongization in del corro is a phonological process wherein a diphthong in the final position or a closed syllable is simplified. The examples presented gathered from Himes show the reduction of I to A. The words in Prikapampangan develop diphthong reduction as seen in protoforms I bun to E bun, Bangi to Bengi, and Balai to Bale. The same is true with ui to e. The examples gathered from Himes show that the pre kapampangan words develop monophthongization in the following examples. Ikui to iki, apui to api, and saliu to sali. Although non-word final diphthongs are unattested, reduction of sentence uh, or sentence medial diphthongs have been recorded in the 18th century Kapampangan. So in our examples, one does not say pamanlakomo, but pamanlakomo, and one does not say balaymo, but rather balemo. Furthermore, there is evidence that diphthong reduction does not only happen to I and au, as mentioned by Himes and Del Corro, but also to ia and wa sequences. The examples presented show the change to paburen from paburian, which means to disregard, and to manos from manwas, which means to wash. Diphthong reduction can then explain the result, resultant forms of the perfective affix in five, pengan, six, meg college, seven, dilu, as repeated in the following examples in 13, 14, and 15. So we have pangan, and then the intermediate form, piangan, and then finally, pengan. The same is true in 14 Meg College and Diluc as presented in the example. The lengthening of E in 8 Misa Cub is also caused by the infixation of E, wherein the sequence E is expressed as vowel lengthening. So again, we have misakab, and then the intermediate form misakab, and then finally misakab. It was also observed that there are instances where the infix e is used when a e or a e is expected. This change usually occurs in closed syllables. The following examples give a visual representation of this instance of diphthong reduction. So we have pispas from paspas with the intermediate form piaspas. And then finally, we have pispas. So same is true with tingap.
Example 18 also shows the monophthongization process. This change is possibly conditioned by the fact that vowels in Kapampangan are differentiated by tongue position or backness instead of height. There might have been a huge overlap in the vowel space of E and E at an earlier stage of Kapampangan when this morphophonemic change occurred. And this probably fossilized the preference for E. Finally, based on the evidences and review of related literature presented, we conclude that perfective aspect in Kapampangan has two allomorphs, in and e, where the latter produces forms such as mengan, dilo, and itang. Such forms were analyzed in previous studies as replacive and lengthening. We have presented that these so-called replacives and lengthening are instead products of the infixation of E, which prompts the process of diphthong reduction producing forms such as those mentioned earlier. Here are our references. Thank you very much for listening. Dakalpong salamat.